It's already been a crazy Memorial Day weekend. What's up, gamers? Your boy Beast Game Akuma here with my final thought on the final PC technical test of the first descendant. I'm gonna speak for many that I have spoken with that enjoyed the game, and we have this to say: developers, publishers, we're ready for a release date. Now I know that the Summer Game Fest is happening on Friday, June seventh, so. Maybe during that time frame, we should expect a release date or even a release because as of right now, I'm playing on the PC version, which honestly, the first time I played it was 2022. Yeah. And it was only PC at that time and it was horrible to run. But whatever they fixed, it's running buttery smooth. And I'm talking about buttery smooth right now. Of course, I'm going with the tank class, but. I noticed that when we was playing the final technical test that they was very generous with the in-game currency for us to try out all the different descendants. I stuck with the main tank, Ajax, and of course, Kyle. Kyle, I wanted to try out because he was a new type of tank with, uh, I got, I ain't gonna lie, I got caught up by his armor. His nice abilities of a charge attack, uh, Kind of a Black Panther attack where he could take in attacks and then he releases an energy blast of the damage and that was pretty cool. I, but yeah, it was very generous. The thing that I noticed this time around that when you want to pick colors, for example, to customize your character, um, <laughs> it's going to be randomized to get the color palettes and you can only use one at a time for either the head or the body. And I'm just like, wow, that's going to... I can see the transaction, the MTX behind that for you to try to get the colors that you want because if it's going to be randomized, that's that's like a a weird style of gotcha system that they're going to implement in this game. But is it like I said, it's going to be free to play, so that's how your depending on your level of support will have you go through this game because honestly, the game is freaking immaculate. Just going through. Each of the levels, you start in Kingston, you have to, well, I mean, you start off with the straight up intro where Bunny gets hurt, and then the main villain, Craig, Greg, which is funny when you think about it, his name is Greg, but I, I don't even think he's the main villain, it's just that it was one of the sub-villains that you fight later, but either way, Greg, it's funny, but you gotta get these abilities, as most people know, and apparently there's a big trust dynamic going on with the guide, and the people that you're working for, I'll be on. But they don't trust the guy. And I'm just like, well, I mean, at first it was only you could see her. And then now she's more configured for everybody to see. And it's just like, this is like mistrust. Unlike when you played Halo with Cortana and everything like that. It was a mistrust later on. But right now everybody's like, who the lady? What's she here for? What you trying to do? Whoa, what's going on here? What's going to mess with our mission? You had a set mission. Now you deviate from the mission because you had a vision. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah, the first Descendant plays super well. I went through. Now this time around, I didn't go through Endgame because honestly, I've been through all the betas. At this point, I just want the game to just actually come out. Because you put in all this effort. Not knocking the developers because honestly, thank you for releasing another for Memorial Day weekend out of all the time. That was a good timing, by the way. But I'm at this point where I just, I just want to play the game fully now because I'm putting all this work, all this effort, unlocking all these things that I won't be able to take with me to the main game because it won't be fair if, that, if they actually did that. That'll, that'll be cheating. But I just want to play the game at this point. And it's a nice little, nice little cute things that you have. And I definitely saw a lot of maidens and maid outfits, which, I mean, come on. If you make a good design of characters, either male or female, you're going to find your who's going to go for who the most. And I had the trope of the tough, big, scary guy, but I had a bunny backpack and I used the Sailor Moon transition, which <laughs> I couldn't help it. I mean, it's there. I'm going to be that kind of goofball playing the game. And I like how 
each and every instance you can team up with somebody which is cool it's open you know open area mmo where a lot of people you can meet up with and help you out in battles sometimes they don't help they just sit in their tournament thumbs for whatever reason i mean you could just type in the thing if you don't want to do voice just type in the thing let me know that you're doing but other than that yeah i, I like the fact that the enemies are not bullet sponges that much unless you fight the boss which makes sense but regular enemies should not be bullet sponges you just be taking them out and the good, I think the way they compensate for that, because they send you an abundance of enemies at you, waves of enemies. So you kind of feel like Bullet Sponge, but not really. And I do like how powerful my character feels, and it's pretty good versus the beginning of the game. But also, I mean, that also could change. That all could change later. See what that, I mean, they give us a nice taste, gave us a lot of gifts and things to buy so we can try out a lot of characters, weaponries. I mean, weapon, weapons just drop, but there are vanity skins for them, especially for your character and the weapons. So, see what happens with that. But other than that, yeah, I just want this game to come out. This game is fun. Great time. Been talked about for years right now. And I, yeah, I just want, I'm ready for this kind of style of game because Warframe was an awesome experience, but the first sentence is more my speed, I feel like. And I just want to get into this and see where it takes me. So I, I, I just I definitely want to support this game. So we'll see what happens. But if you played during the technical test this weekend, please leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Who is your favorite descendant to play as? How did you feel about the gameplay mechanics overall? What are you worried about? I want to hear your thoughts. Let's discuss this. But that is our time. Again, happy Memorial Day weekend to everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more reviews, previews, news, and other vloggities that I do. As always, be stuck.